happens, That's you know what so I mean? That's so true, bro. It's yeah, so true. Man. It's about the energy behind it, true. Because okay. you do so much and you push a lot back. He's the same way, yo. And I'd like to speak some. You know what, G? G Vine, you asked him a question earlier and he had a little tough answer in it, but it was what was the hardest thing for him? I'd like to answer that as taming his artist, yo. I'm his number one artist, yo. Keeping me, keeping me in check must be one of his hardest things because I'm only 22 and we all remember being 22, right? So, well, <laughs> but I got the best teacher. Oh, Lord knows, man. Lord knows. You got the right attitude for a 22-year-old. No, oh, man, but you got thank you, thank definitely, you. man. You're official business, man. Thanks, you're the real yo. McCoy. That's why you're thank here, you. homie. For sure, for sure. Okay, so I mean, I wanna, I'm gonna see what else I want. Oh, I got a quick question for you. If you had a choice, yeah. Uh, here's pick a brain and a producer. If you had a chance to perform anywhere in the world, all right, what venue would it be? Where would you want to perform? If you could just, they said right now you can go anywhere and, and, and kill it. Basically. I'd like to sell out, I think everybody would like a nod their head at this answer because every artist, but obviously I'd like to sell out Madison Square Garden. Yeah. Bruh. Sure. But truthfully, I don't know many. Uh, I don't know many of uh, the locations. But I am. I don't know. I feel a spiritual bond with uh, Europe. I think yeah. that's just a positive that's spot. I want to go there, and I just want to have a party, and I'm I just want to be cool. You can call me. I'm going. Oh, I'll be I'm there too. I don't. Yo, I think. Yeah. I think, uh, yo, even Germany, man, I don't know, some about, some about my dark style, I think that would set the people off there, but yo, oh it's gonna God, happen, it's gonna happen. Let's speak about that, man, your following, like, how did this following start to come about? Because I noticed there is a, there, like I said, there's a great following yeah, for man. your music, you know? Yeah. Um, and it, it started out, it started out of Bowmanville? It started out of Bowmanville, Slash, Curtis, a little bit of Newcastle, and Whippy, it, and Oshawa, so it was basically... I made big shout out to Durham. From yeah, Durham man, too. Durham. Durham made me who I am and pushes me every day. Big shout out to Durham. Uh, so what happened with me was, I had I made that okay. I made that first album. It's all me. It was off a computer. It was just whatever. You don't even make it official. <coughs> but it was out there. I handed it on myself, and then I was drawn to make a studio album. I made six of the eight songs with G Vine. Or no, no. Five of the eight songs with G Vine just recorded. Not the beats. I use industry beats, and I yeah. bought half the beats from another guy in Oshawa. So what happened with me was I made that CD, I didn't make a cover, I didn't make nothing to it, I called it Holy Shit, and I gave it to these, these girls that went to school with me, they were younger than me, so I was like, so I was like 17, so these girls were like 16, 15, they took the CD home, man, they had like hundreds of CDs, they burnt them, I handed them out, I went to every high school with a big meat Ziploc bag, and I handed them out, man, people ran up to me, you remember those days, yeah man, nobody was doing it, you know what I mean, yeah, no one was doing good. that, so, well, there was some people doing it, but you know, at the time, I felt like I was one of the only ones to notice because it wasn't happening that. Often. It doesn't matter. You're not really watching nobody. You're just watching your own hustle, anyways. You know, yeah. And you to this do, day, right? to this day, yo, I, I might sell my CD. Well, I, from here on out, it's sad that I have to. But yeah, the only time I I ever sold my CD was on a uh, debut night, and it was never like an extreme price. And to this day, you know, I'm just I'm just holding it down, man. I like to give it out so everybody's talking about it. You know, mm -hmm. it just seems like it's all gonna come back to me eventually, anyways, man. Make sure you get heard before people reject it and the right person doesn't hear it. So. Absolutely, man. Yeah. Um, what's your What's your favorite thing about being an artist? My favorite thing about being an artist is, uh, you know, I have a lot. I could go on. I like inspiring people. I like thinking to my. I like the moment when I think to myself, I'm gonna be the best. I like thinking there, thinking I'm gonna be the fucking best. Everybody that hears me, sorry for swearing, but yo, everybody, everybody's gotta know like that moment. Just like yo, I've heard, I've heard other people talk about it. You know, music is just like boxing. Music is the, in the same sense that they all want to be the champ. You all want to be the champ. It's very similar. I feel the same way, yo. I feel like, you know, there's a lot of work that has to be done. There's a lot of things I got to work out, and, you know, and you'll be the, my producer will be the first one to tell me, but, you know, I'm on the right path, and I think I'm ready to, I think, I think the growing that needs to be done now will be when I actually sight see, when I actually hit the industry, so I think it's time for me to be born in the industry. So. Lord knows it's the time for you to be born, yeah, my G. I tell you, some cold sign, I've been everywhere. I've been in Cleveland, New York, I've been everywhere, all right? And I'll buy my tongue, and I'll tell you straight, you know. Yeah, it's show business, man. Yeah, man. show for show. Yeah, so man. now, you know, uh, what are we going to get into? Um, before we get into either or why, I'm trying yeah. to think of any other question you want to ask us, Danny or Diverse, before we get into either or why. Well, okay, I'm just wondering, like, as you um, sort of, as you go forward and as you get yourself out there, yeah. and you get start getting in front of, uh, in, in front of audiences, yeah. what, do you, what do you imagine your audience to be like? Um... Well, I imagine as, as yeah yeah as people or as as the, as the vibe uh, the vibe the size the people when I close my eyes and I'm not at a show and I'm walking down a narrow hallway I imagine being in a backstage studio hearing my name chanted you know oh, yeah. holy yeah, yeah and you can feel the vibration while you're walking I can almost use my pineal gland my third eye when I'm doing that I can just slow down and just like you know I can sense everything going on so I'm going there but besides that man you know I love the crowd to be energetic and enjoying their time to the fullest you know I I love making uh, 
energy music. I like to get you high. Crazy, you know, crazy. And it's all—it's my fan base that does it for me. It's my friends, you know. You know, it's your music, bro. You know, yeah, it's my friends, my music, yo. And I was one of those guys, you know, in high school who like I felt bad for people I got picked on. I made sure to connect with everybody. When people are coming to my shows, I don't send a million texts. They, I send individual texts. I'm not joking you. I take. 350 people individually to connect and most of them usually write back because I say their name and I let them know why I would like them there It's official man. And that's what and it's that's the hard it. extra work that makes it happen. So what? I'm feeling that man yeah, for man. sure. So that's for sure. you do it. That's Thank great. You. That's, that's dope you. man. Thank for you. sure. Okay, so let's get into it. Man. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not done so. yet. So this I want everyone to know. All right. I never got a chance to play it on this show. But it is this banger, and it's called Hero. Hero. And I'm telling you, just watch out for this joint. That's I think second. it's gonna be like, it's gonna be in movies. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and shop it myself. I want my 10% yeah. shit, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, nah, yeah, the, the song is big time. Look out for that, and look out so it's your new album that you recorded on with G-Vine. Well, you know what? I'm, I'm pushing singles, man. If the people want an album, they're gonna get an album. If they wanna hear me, we just tear up the clubs. Yo, I'm gonna drop, this is how it's actually gonna happen for me. I'm gonna drop a song called Operator. It's pure Justin Bieber, uh, like nothing that we were bumping today. Yep. It's Justin Bieber up club, yeah. It, and uh, yo, I got a, I got a syrupy, somewhat. It's not pure auto tune. It's got a nice little auto tune when I yeah. sing, cause I sing also. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what I do, what it starts off as, I like a excuse me, girl, to you, and I use my voice like that. And then the chorus comes in. It's just pure mania. I got uh, the Jamaican artist, my fellow good, good friend Mag T. He's on the track, so I'm trying to just bring up both of us at the same time. And yo, that's what's up. Hopefully get some back. So after that, I'm going to drop Hero. And that's more or less like, uh, like uh, over, like Drake. You know, it's a hard song. Like, it's just big. It's, I like to think it's better. Most, most people who uh, think they're going to be a champion one day would. But big ups to him still. But yeah, and then after that, I'm going to come up with another club banger and then a sad song. So okay. I'm going to make it. Well, yeah. I like it. Demon Swag, yo. That's that's what's coming out. I don't Demon, need Swag? Demon Swag. Is that the name of the album? Or? No, that's my mixtape. That's okay, the Demon underground mixtape. Yo, I got yeah. my bubblegum stuff like you said, yep. but I also got my split personality side, which is almost like that sophisticated thoughts attitude. But it's way darker, way deeper, way more instruments. Yeah. It's insane. I'm 22 now. I'm not 18 from when I started that right and that. I totally found myself as an artist. So that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's so dope. that's how you're, the way you're doing it there. The way you're having, uh, you know, you have one album that sort of represents one side of you, and and, and you're, yeah. you're putting out another album for like another type of thing. And actually, that you're you're saying you're splitting them up. Yep. That's a really good, really well, good well, idea. And that's a, that's the kind of thing that uh, you know, um, like the old industry people, like wait, you know, the people who were like trying to make make yeah. all these star 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 yeah. things. They would usually never like stand for something like no. that. They would never let something like that slide. So the yeah. fact that you're actually able to reach out to both audiences that are important to you as an artist is like is like a reflection of where art really needs to keep Thank going. You like if you get another, if you get another type of inspiration, and you don't want to do that. There's no reason you shouldn't exactly. be able to do that. Exactly. Yeah, I feel good. Yeah. What, I, what I'd like to say, shout out is my boy Phil here. He's helped me along the way a lot too, financially, you know, mentally, yeah, I mean, spiritually. Artists, we all have that. Everybody, so, yo, yo, what it is is he he is the big Roots fan. 